Is liberty dying where you live? Escape to Keen at freekeen.com. How's it going, y'all? Pete here with Jacob. As you may be familiar with already, if you've been following the content we've been putting out since on the ground with the police accountability tour, last weekend when downtown here in Cape Town, we had a not too friendly interaction with some police employees. Jacob and I have been filming a makeshift police checkpoint and were approached with hostility and I was threatened to be put in a cage for the mere act of filming their actions. Howdy. Thank you, my friend. Come with me. Yeah, I'm curious to hear what's going on tonight. What, excuse Thank me. Thank you. Come with me. Hello. Hello. Come with me. Captain. How are you? Captain. A couple days later, we learned that South African journalist Quentin Mittala covered the incident on the site timeslive.com, a South African outlet. I reached out to Quentin, and today we were able to sit down with him and hear his thoughts on issues related to police accountability. One thing that stood out to us, both from our conversation and in his article, was the fact that the police employees tried to differentiate between the right that they say exists for individuals to film their actions while on duty, except and until they start to initiate the arrest of a suspect, at which time they say that that right no longer exists. Yeah, I don't know. I we both actually found that pretty problematic considering, you know, some of the things that uh, that we've seen just leading up to coming out here to Cape Town. I don't know if you guys have heard the Americana Mine Massacre that took place earlier this year, but if you haven't, go ahead and look online and see what police do when they feel like they can get away with it. Uh, a few more examples come to mind. Andreas Tantate, who was killed uh, during a protest in the Free State of April of 2011 or Amidia Masia, a taxi driver in Cape Town who was dragged to his death in front of a crowd of people. Or even more recently, Lunga Goodman Nona, who was beaten and arrested in an outside market in downtown Cape Town. Now, the thing that separates these incidents from others is the fact that they were on video. And then the last three ones that we just mentioned were happening when the police were coming to allegedly arrest these people, which would have made it a crime to videotape it. And that doesn't make any sense. Right, if people would have obeyed the law, they would have turned off their device for fear of being caged themselves, and which, which would mean the incidents that Jacob just mentioned would never have been seen and known by the tens and hundreds of thousands that ultimately were made aware of it. Yeah, we're not here to tell anybody what to do, and especially in a place where we're not from. But the idea that you can't film an arrest because it's illegal, it, it just doesn't add up. Yeah, I mean, you got to ask yourself, who benefits from the censoring of such actions? These are public employees in public areas. Uh, at the end of the day, it's clear that only bullies want to censor their misdeeds. If you have nothing to hide, then you should welcome the objectivity provided through the lens of a camera. So, you know, if you see something happening out here, you know, follow your own conscience and, and, and you'll know what to do.